how to make a magic pretzel wand. Here's what you need to make. Magic pretzel wants pretzels, cream cheese, the spoon, sprinkles pretzel, cream cheese, scoop it up and spread it on. Don't put cream cheese on the bottom because that's where you hold it. Let's add the magic sprinkles. We use blue and white sprinkles to look like snow. Throw a back and forth. Let's make a lobster house. We need a house for our amazing monsters. Here's why you need to make your monster house in four cardboard container, glass mass plastics, tissue paper, thicker tissue match, and glue container. Make a container big enough to fit your monster house and room for a garden. Ice passenger tissue box house. Let's tilt the box so it looks like this. It will be perfect for a door now you see how it stick. It will, one, two, three, four, five, six, sticks. A sticker, poof. I'm a diving board. Fresh food, fair path. Who lives in our monster house? I must once cake make shakers. Let us show you how to make one thing complete. First, you need some recycled bottles. You can use glass or plastic, but make sure to clean out the bottle and it's all dry. Then you could fill your bottle with whatever you want. Different stuff will make different sounds. We have some beans, beans, rice, and pasta. I'm not going to put too much because I don't want such a heavy sound. Let's try this one. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I'm going to add some little beads so it doesn't make a boom boom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this nice, pretty tinsel in the inside of my bottle. Do you think the tinsel will change the sound? Maybe. I'm going to add some blue and silver rib. And then you can decorate the outside too. I'm going to use some stars and smiley faces. Just to make it bling, I'm going to use some of these star stickers. And these stickers are pretty. You can decorate it really any way you want. You can use ribbing. You could use duct tape. And that's how you make a shader. Let's make a pizza here's what you need to make a pizza. Lots of felt foam sheets, some yarn scissors, and pipe cleaners. First, we have to cut the pizza. Start with the crust. Here, that looks good. Next, we're going to cut the sauce like this. That looks good, I think so. G 
G's cut yarn for cheese. Extra cheese, please. Cut out lots of different shapes for your toppings. Hi, welcome to Crazy Pizza Parlors. What kind of pizza do you want? I want everything. Black olives, anchovies, creepy eyeballs, pipe cleaner peppers, jelly beans. One crazy pizza, coming right up. Order up, thank you, that is pizza in town. First, you have to take two straws and try to pinch one. Try to fit it in the other one that has a full hole. Then you push it in to make sure that it's nice and tight and tight. Then you can bend and do the same thing to the other side. I use this card to make a bracelet you can make a pattern. or you can just do the same color. This is how you make a circle crown. First, you're going to need a long piece of tape. Put sticky side up, then you're going to need some straws. You want to cut the sugar. So they're all different kinds. I'm using this one and putting it right here. Now I'm doing one that's shorter. I'm going to make this one go up high so I don't need to cut it line up the bottom of this car on the bottom of the tape. When you have all your scores down, you put down another piece of tape to hold them in place. Toilet paper rolls, decorating teeth scissors, gems, hole, punch, and a headband. Wrapped a decorated tape around a toilet paper roll to really show off the color Cut out triangles to make your crown have points. Make sure your parents know you're using scissors. Maybe now I'm punching holes in my crown for my headband. Give the hole, punch a good squeeze. Put gems on your toilet paper roll to really make it sparkle. Add some tassels and some gems Put the end of the headband through the holes. Slide your headband onto the crown. 